he was a genius. He was recognized as being a really exceptional young person. He lived here for 59 years and he did contribute to the, to the community. He was an upstanding citizen and uh, beloved in the community. Kanai Nagasawa was one of 15 of the young samurai with the 1915 exposition and he was chosen because of his expertise in agriculture. All the students, all 15, went to England. Nagasawa was too young to enter the university. He was sent to school in Aberdeen, Scotland. Just about now, the students meet Thomas Lake Harris, the head of a religious cult in New York. And so he tells the boys, if they will come to Brockton, New York, and uh, live in his cult and work, uh, he will continue their education and uh, their main source of income was wine. So Thomas Lake Harris decides they should move and they bought 400 acres north of town. They named it Fountain Grove because there was a very abundant spring up in the hills. A magazine writer came from New York. She began writing what she called an expose. It uh, accused Harris of illicit doings. He packed up with the, his lady friend and they went to New York. He left. So now Nagasawa is left in charge and then he sent for three of his nephews from Japan to help him run Fountain Grove. He never married but one of the nephews was married and so Hiro Ijichi, his wife, acted as hostess at Fountain Grove and that's the mother of Kosuke and Amy. He provided work for many uh, people in Santa Rosa. It was a huge vineyard. The first California wines imported in England were from Fountain Grove. Nagasawa wanted his relatives to inherit Fountain Grove, but the Asian Exclusion Act denied the parents citizenship. They were only given one day in which they were told that they had to get out. The Fountain Grove was sold to a man by the name of Mac Boyle, who preferred being a cowboy to raising grapes, and he had all the grapes torn out. So here at Paradise Ridge Winery, we have um, an exhibit about Kanaya Nagasawa's life and times, and it's mainly a, a timeline of his story of how he came here to Santa Rosa. And this is one of my favorite pictures. It has Nagasawa with Luther Burbank in it. They did work together on viticultural advances and trying to educate the, the newly forming winemaking community about how they can grow better grapes. My mother worked very closely with the Sonoma County Museum to get some artifacts for the exhibit. We worked also with some of uh, Nagasawa's relatives. This is the land where he grew up and we sympathize with that because my mother was an immigrant when she came here as well. I've had the distinct pleasure of being involved with this project from the conception and it is really fitting to finally put closure to this part by having it dedicated as Nagasawa Community Park at Fountain Grove. I think as members of the community come to enjoy the site, they're going to realize that it's so close to town, but yet out in the woods, so to speak. And as they walk through the park, they'll see fairly expansive water body, the lake. They'll see a uh, housing development on the east side of the park for senior living. They'll see the golf course that wraps around about three quarters of the community park. This park will be rich in trails. It'll have a little play equipment structure as it's built out. We'll also have a day camp that will have youth programs. The lake at Nagasawa Park is 22 acres. It is a man-made lake and is open for fishing. We allow non-motorized boating. We don't allow swimming. One of the major challenges for the design of this park was to respect the natural beauty the park has and the natural wildlife habitat. I love being here at Fountain Grove. Where as a child, I used to roam through these hills on horseback. We had 2,000 acres of land, and it was my playground. At least part of it will become a playground for the young people of Santa Rosa.